Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are in the world. Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to Sussex Saturday. So I'm going to uh, start off by welcoming the newest channel member, Hilda DC. I don't know if she's back in the chat, but welcome, 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 Hilda. Hey, Lydia, channel member. Hey, Super Saturday to you, Church Nelly, and thank you for, um, yes, rest in peace to Johnny Brown, who was bookman on Good Times, um, if you are old enough to remember that show. Um, Yes, condolences go out to his family and friends. Hello, Rosa, how are you? Anna, 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 how you doing? Hey, Valerie, how are you? I always feel like I'm talking to myself. (laughs) which I do anyway, but anyway, nevertheless, y'all didn't ask for all that. Hey, Dolores, how are you? How are you? Elaine, how you doing? Hey, Cookies and Cream, aka my manager. How you doing? Hey, Elaine Swoop, how you doing? Mary, channel member, Daniel, channel member. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. I hope everybody is well today. Appreciate all of you uh, joining for some fun. It may not be a long one, um, but you know, how we do when we get together, we start talking and then we get into the trash time and then it's Rantville, so. But we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully everybody is well. You know, I like to wait for my intro music to stop because it's just. And there it goes. All right. I hope you all are well. And ready for a (laughs) fun-filled Sussex Saturday. And um, first things first, I want to let those of you who are in here know, um, channel members already knew this information, but I wanted to share. And if you've seen the community tab, then you already know. I added a new tier in channel members. So um, I'll just say, check out. Um, you know, click on the join button. It'll give you information as to the new tier, um, perks, etc. So I just wanted to get that little bit of housekeeping out of the way. And again, I want to welcome the newest channel member, Hilda DC, if she's out there. Um, I know she's usually um, getting herself together around this time. So she had a late night. It's not feeling 100%. So, um, yes. Hey, Donna, good morning. Oh, so it's still cool. And I'll say cool where you are, Donna. <laughs> it's warmed up here. Um, yesterday, I believe yesterday, yeah, it was in the 80s, the day before, close to the, no, yeah, close to the 80s. Today is going to be in the 70s. I'm kind of loving it, but it's like um, a little too early. But I'll take it every day versus snowy weather. Hello, Dolores. How are you? Joyce, channel member. How you doing? I hope you were well. Uh, hey, Tier. How you doing? Annie. AKA squad bartender. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Cecilia, how you doing? I hope you were well. Um, let me find some music in the background that will that will suit us for the day. I feel like my voice is just it needs a little something something in the background. Okay. So, I'm just going to 
I'll update my description later, but I'm just going to up throw this on. I don't know. This might be too mellow. Um, hopefully it's not overpowering my voice. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, hopefully you're not getting any more snow. Maybe that time has finished up. I don't know. I don't hope we see any more snow. Oh, no, Dolores, I've been sick in just home from being in hospital two weeks. Oh, my goodness. I'm glad you're home. Please, please, please take it easy. Rest. Um, don't overdo it. I'm glad you're filling up to being on here. I tell you, everyone, uh, please, please just take care of yourselves. Um, all right, let me see. Yeah, I'm glad she's on the mend, too. Yeah, it was kind of scary. Oh, there you are. Oh, nothing. I welcomed you um, as a channel member, as I always do. But since you're here, Hilda, welcome channel member. There you go. Okay. I wanted you to hear that, although I welcomed you on um, the community members only tab, but. Oh, yeah, Colorado. Well, you know, it's going to be cold, snowy, all that fun stuff. So anyway, hi, Geraldine. How are you? Hey, Black Queen, how you doing? Yeah, continue the prayers. There's several of our fam I'll say that our YouTube fam that's not feeling well um you know have upcoming surgeries doctor appointments etc so yeah please everyone you know look after yourselves look after yourselves okay so um I'm going to jump right into the content which is really you for those in the true squad <laughs> You've heard this and heard this and heard this and heard this. So what I'm going to be talking about is not going to be new to you, but it will be for some others. And um, I wanted to share it anyway. But as you all know how I do, let me just click that. Um, see, this is when I, I no longer am keeping up with um, comments. <laughs> but... I wanted to put on the ban uh, disclaimer. So copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act, 1976. Allowances made for fair use for purpose purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Okay. My favorite quote of Harry and Megan's. Each of us can change our communities. All of us can change the world. So this week has been exciting. Um, we said, in a sense, goodbye to what is the National Recognition for Black History Month on the 28th. And then on the 1st, we welcomed in what is known nationally as Women's um, History Month. So with the beginning of the month coming in, we um, saw and heard a lot of good news for the Sussexes, um, starting with Megan, um, along with Anita Hill, wrote an op-ed commemorating the nomination of the soon-to-be first Black female Supreme Court Justice. Yes, so I believe I put the link to the op-ed in the description box. If I didn't, I will. Um, but it's definitely one of those um, moments when you're like, whoa, to know especially for Anita Hill, um, she may invoke strong feelings on both sides of the political um, spectrum, but 
she went through a lot and if everybody remembers that time frame if you're old enough to remember i'm just saying um she's a powerhouse so her kind of singling you know going and selecting megan and yeah it's just the whole thing is was like blew my mind initially and then i'm like wow this is awesome so it was more opportunities for the haters to lose their minds. And so, you know, that's always a good thing. That's always a very, very, very good thing. So um, I'm going to probably go through everything and then we can just lose our minds together. Okay. So in addition, um, this young woman, Janina, is one of Megan's very good friends. And... <laughs> Whew. There's been a lot of there's been a lot of talk from both sides regarding the NAACP Image Award, the President's Award that Harry and Meghan received. Um. Anyway, you know, there's there's a whole lot that has been said, which I'll get to in trash time. But I just wanted to say, you know, show that her friends are out there and they do speak up um and she is you know that award to her and harry yeah it, it, everything they said in their speech it is true so they're deserving and that's all i'm going to say on that okay in addition to women's history month coming in and the op-ed archwell foundation donated to four women's organizations. I'll just say it that way. And it's, it's an awesome thing um, to commemorate women's history, but also to put your money where your mouth is, so to speak. So they're really stepping forward. And we all know how Megan felt and feels about equality. So Archwell's investing in the champions of gender um, equity. So the first one, the Center on Poverty and Inequality, Georgetown University Law Center. So they are a recipient. Another recipient, the National Women's Law Center. And they tweeted out, so I wanted to capture their tweet. I'm sure the other organizations did too, but I happened to see this one on my timeline and I just wanted to capture it. Again, if organizations didn't, um, you know, share the news, nine times out of 10, we wouldn't know. Um, Archwell Foundation, they did have this out on their website. So there is a link in the description if you want to go out to look at all that they wrote about the organizations. I think they, you know, they gave them each like a paragraph or two. The other organization, the 19th. So Megan participated with the 19th um, last year. And uh, it's a really good women's led organization. So. Hopefully you'll check out and some of the information on them. SmartWorks, which is a patronage of Megan, and um, it helps women who are unemployed and are entering back into the workforce um, with outfits for interview and then when they get the job because you know i'm always being very optimistic that they will be successful so they you know they help them role play on interviews etc and um you know it's it's just an awesome organization so there was there is a clothing line that in a sense that was set up for um smart works to be um, the beneficiary of and it was pretty cool when most of the items sold out so quickly so yeah mm -hmm. but um i just wanted to touch on the women's history p 
piece. I'm going to jump into the comments before I even get to trash time because I want to stay in a little bit of the of the calm and the hope and all that stuff. Hello, Christine. How are you? Hey, Avery. How you doing? Um, cookies and cream. I think you captured everybody. Hi, Mrs. VS, Rosa, Anna, et cetera, et cetera. Um, hey, Kenneth. How are you? V, how you doing? I'm just trying to see. Um, hello, is it Medi? Hello, how are you? I hope you are well. Um, hey, Catherine, how you doing? Um, I'm eating salon, um, salmon burgers. Oh, that sounds good. Thanks for making me even hungrier than what I was, but thank you. Although I, I like woofed down a, <laughs> an Intamin's donut before I started. <laughs> um, oh, thank you, Duchess of Success. <laughs> thank you so much. And hi there. I've been, uh, you know, listening <laughs> to everybody, of course, but thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. Um, I really, really do. Okay. Um, I think I saw Avery. Rosa. It's kind of a, okay. I need a little bit more upbeat. I don't know about you. Uh, yeah. I like my jazz, but, um, mm -hmm. that's a little too, that's a little too calming. Yeah, that's not, that's too calming. Okay. We'll just listen to we'll listen to this for a while, okay. Hopefully, it's not too cray cray in the music or the lyrics. Hey, the gathering within. How are you? I hope you were well. Um, let's see. Welcome, welcome again to the Duchess of Success. Uh, hey, Lori. How are you? Uh oh, Hilda's cracking cracking knuckles already. <laughs> If you could hit the thumbs up, everybody. Uh, look at you. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see the gathering. I saw you. Black Queen. What are you talking about? Black Queen. Two black women making in, in, um, indebitable marks in society. Listen, y'all with the big words now. It's early. I'm working midway of my second cup of tea. I'm glad I was able <laughs> Woo, to get that out. Okay. Yeah, it it is and was awesome to see um, her, you know, the op-ed with Anita Hill. So definitely. Women's rights was a mistake. Oh, okay. Here we go. Harry needs to grow some balls and put her in her, in her place. You need to learn English. And at least if you're going to try to uh, go after somebody, mm, get it right. Like, make sure you have no typos because then I'm just going to, yeah, and everybody else is. And I wonder if they've already blocked you. But if not, they'll give me the honor. Let me see. Uh, somebody already snagged you. See, I like having, what is it? Oh, no, I'm not that far behind in the comments. Oh, you're too funny. Um, Cecilia, yeah, I'm so proud of them. I am too. <laughs> Elaine, Elaine, you're not a moderator. All right, let me make some correction. Let me, let me, let me just do this really quick. Okay. So. At least you can zap folks too now when you want to, or you need to, put it that way. Well, you know what it is? It's funny to me. Because just the screen name, at least they told who they were right off the gate. So, um, but yeah, um, I'll, I'll say this and then get back to, if someone has a problem with women's rights, um, how do I say this and not get myself in too much hot water? Mm. 
your one inch probably needs about another five inches to make it a little bit more suitable. Okay. Now. All right. Moving along. Moving right along. Lori, I love seeing powerful women come together fighting the right fight. Exactly. Exactly. Um, <laughs> what Anita went through. Um, yeah. And then she went through some stuff too. Hey, Bright Eyes PBJ, how you doing? Hello, hello to you. Um, Catherine. <laughs> Thank you for kicking the troll to the curb. Harry's a real man. He really is. I mean, I, you know, I had a few trolls this week come come out of the woodwork you know just when i think oh my goodness oh everything is calm here they come but you know it gets the it gets them off to come into this so it is what it is we can laugh it off you're really not hurting our feelings and you're not stopping the show so moving right along anyway um oh lydia thank you for highlighting all the positive going on with yes um the even little bit that I will discuss on the upcoming trash time. It's really until the paperwork, I'll just say this until that paperwork is filed and is searchable and we see an actual um, lawsuit. It's just, it's just talk. Okay. Now let me just go back to the comments and then, you know, we can get into that tidbit because yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hilda, it's too early to be trolling. It's never too early when it comes down to Harry and Megan, obviously. The trolls come out at day, you know, they do. They come out. Um, Avery, by the time Megan finished her day's work, the British royal family have not woken up from their slumber. And by the time they start work, their day is almost over. True. Um, although, you know, those 5 a.m. emails, Lordy B, you're sending emails at 5 a.m. Um, but you're not on at 5 a.m. So what does it matter? Nobody expects. I have a manager. I probably have said this before who would, she's not as bad now, but she would send emails one, two in the morning. You know, when we sign in, we're like, ah, really? Do you ever sleep? But it wasn't that we knew she didn't expect us to be online working. Come on already. So anyway, it's just hilarious. Hilariousness to me. Um, hey, Yulita, how are you? I hope you're well. Um, Black Queen Elaine Parker, that troll's mama made a mistake. Yeah, well, you know, it is what it is, what it is, what it is. <laughs> Oh, and y'all snagged it quick because I was like, oh, maybe you left it for me to have a little fun and then I could just, you know, block them. But I appreciate the moderators doing what they do and they do it so well. Now, for those of you that are still in the clouds that are not trolls, feel free to drop down and say hi, you know, if you're able to. For the trolls, you know, mm, I would say caution. Caution is is the key word for you. Okay. Catherine, the NAACP award shook a lot of people in the UK. Yes, it did. So um, just to kind of piggyback onto this comment, I'm going to jump into um, Lydia, Lydia, <laughs> guess what time it is? <laughs> It's trash time, trash time, trash time on Sussex Saturday. And so that award did make a lot of people upset in the UK, especially this one. Now, I'm not going to mention her name. You can read it. But I want you to read what she what she wrote. Um. Her, this tweet is so offensive. I really wish Twitter and all these other social media companies would just get these folks off their social media platforms completely. Because this right here, so uncalled for. 
so flipping uncalled for. So, because I saw a tweet when I, oh, when you hear Kuja in the back, excuse me, and my other, the mailman is, or mail person is up at the mailbox. Hopefully Penelope doesn't join in. But anyway, the NSSCP, so flippin' offensive. We all know, or most of us would know, um, any reference to, yeah, I'm not even going to say it anymore. So, all right. That's one aspect of trash time. The other aspect of trash time that I t- referenced is that, you know, I saw word on the street, and I don't know if I ever even sent it over where I can pull it into um, StreamYard, and that's fine. I don't need to. Allegedly, the half the half older, jealous, crazy sister of Megan is claiming she's going to sue Megan for defamation for um, the Oprah interview. Hold on one sec. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know why Penelope wants to cry now. Um, so as I said before, with the half older, jealous, crazy sister allegedly wanting to sue, um, I did a search. I didn't find any paperwork that had been filed. And of course, lawsuits, not a lawsuit until you serve people and you need address and information like that, which I think that's all she's trying to get is personal information and she can pass it on to the tabloids. That's my speculation. Um, obviously, I don't know who would be her attorney unless she's going to be trying to defend herself, but yeah. Um, anybody and everybody, I'll say this, can file whatever they want to, but that doesn't mean you have legal standing. And eventually a judge will look over the paperwork, um, determine if there's any legal standing. And my guess is they'll toss it out. And then hopefully she'll be responsible for paying all court costs for both sides for bothering the court. Okay. All right. That's my... That's my take on things. What say you? All right. Um, Oh, Anna, you didn't see the troll? (laughs) It's all right. Oh, thank you, Gil. Thank you so much for the super sticker. I appreciate it. Y'all are too much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um... Elaine, we had beef casserole and Yorkshire puddings. Okay. That sounds interesting. Or the impossible. Hello to all in this chat. Well, hello to you. Greetings to God be the glory for another day of sunrise. Yes. Hello, Korea Donna Vlog. How are you, Mega? Love. Shout out to you. Uh Uh-oh, Hilda is spamming. (laughs) She's enjoying these emojis. (laughs) <laughs> uh, don't let Nightbot get you. Uh, let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Put some disco music on. Let me see if I can find some that is copyright free. Because, you know, you can't just put any music on. Otherwise, you will um, quickly either get claims or get strikes and that's the worst thing to have happen is a strike so um let me let me try to accommodate you <laughs> oh lord okay i found something this is this is per anna's request some disco music okay it's it's copyright free so you know 
Oh, no, 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 no. Can't do that. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we find something else. It's not as crazy. I don't think you're going to have any luck there. With the music. But anyway. You know. This is um as good as it's going to get for now. Okay. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me look through the comments and try to try to catch up. Oh, Kimberly, thank you so much. That's really sweet of you. Thank you. And hello, because I don't know if I, have, I said hello to you earlier. Okay. For some reason, my Penelope wants to cut up so badly right now. What's wrong with everybody? Um, Anna, this is a troll-free channel. Thank you, moderators. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, they try. The trolls try. I will just say this. Thank you for the engagement because leaving a comment, even if you hit the, the, the thumbs down, that's engagement. So thank you. Coming into the live stream, that's engagement. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, Dolores, the right wing mouthpieces are going at Megan. Yeah, well, they can go all they want to. Um, but, you know, they're a bunch of SOBs, so it really doesn't matter what the right wing mouthpieces have to say, you know. They really don't, so. <laughs> Anna, you're a little bit keyed up there, aren't you? <laughs> Uh, Kiki, baby, how are you? Hello, hello. Julian, how are you? I hope you are well. Um, oh, my goodness. Yes, Anita Hill was so mistreated. She really was. Um, yeah. That was a time period that truly will remain in a moment in history, unfortunately, because I'm sure um, she would love to be able to put it behind her and never have it mentioned, but it's just one that, you know, just keeps coming up and that's all that we can do. All right. Oh, maybe I'll listen to this. This might be even better. It says uh, royalty free, no copyright. Okay. Anna, this might be the best I can do for you. My point of view. Hello, Sussex family. Good morning and a blessed Saturday, the one and only. Yes. You just have to. Um... Ooh, let me turn that down. Thank you, my point of view. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, Daniel. Please shut trolls down. Is there more in here that I haven't seen? <laughs> Not that I want to, but, you know. I'll just say that. Uh, Denise, you can say that the hater was a... <laughs> a D-jockey? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Missing a few in all aspects. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. Uh, Dolores, the right wingers will get their taste of meds. Yeah, they will. Uh, that's why you can't... Like, I did see... T had posted, um, or Tina had posted on Twitter, and she was asking the question, like, why do people engage with the trolls? Especially on Twitter, like, are you trying to get, what answer are you trying to get to, and that it only prolongs the crap that they're throwing at Megan even longer, because more people are reading it to see what is going on, and then, yeah. It was just, it was an interesting question. And I appreciate her for that because sometimes when I feel like I have time and I'm in that mood, yeah, I'll go back and forth. Oh, and I never did get a response to my question that I asked um, when a statement was released from space or by space, I should say, um, on the standing with Ukraine and the person had told me that, you know, Harry and Megan's statement 
royals don't do that. So I never did get a response back. So I should have went back and been like, I guess, you know, these two aren't royals then because otherwise they would, you know, not have released a statement. But I didn't. I behaved myself. But I get it. You can't, you know, there's sometimes you just have to just ignore all craziness. Thank you for showing support. I appreciate you. Um, of course. I support as much as I can. And uh, always, yes. That's how we keep the connection strong. Cecilia, let haters get ready. Harry and Megan are here to stay and to win. Oh, yeah. But you would think that the haters would just realize that and move on. Go take your energy and get behind the ones that you claim that you support. The ones that you claim um, Harry and Meghan are taking down or making look bad when they're not. You know, um, oh, they're overshadowing. How can someone overshadow somebody who's going to be, what, king one day? And the consort? Didn't consorts do a lot of, um, never mind. Let me leave that alone. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to leave it alone. Rochelle, how are you? Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Excuse me. I'm up here eating the rest of this donut that I don't really need. Okay. I'm just saying. Hello there. You keep those clouds troll free. Okay. <laughs> Can you imagine if that was possible? Hmm. That would be awesome. But I don't mind them coming. That's engagement. So I see that there's, you know, well over 100 people listening. So I appreciate you all being here. What is this? She can't spell, I guess, just a troll. Yeah, well, you know. Can you maybe just be another way to conjure new Megan hate stories to cover for the corrupt British royal family Tories and their Russian connection? Wash and repeat. We see you all. Yeah, it's true. It is a wash and repeat. We see it all. Um, and it this many years in to supporting Harry and Megan, those of us who have really been there, and even the newer ones coming along. You just have to to know that stories from several years ago that they used when Harry nor Meghan could speak out, there's, you know, they recycle them and they bring them around. They might change a word, take out a word of the headline or whatever. And here it comes again, asking some stupid question or twisting it around. And we just have to laugh it off and keep it moving. There's lawsuits, you know, Harry spokesman, um, person I should say you know verified what he was doing for towards the daily fail who continues to just harass them it's it's insane and I did see since we are talking and this is trash time still I saw some tweet I don't even know if it was from PM y'all know his initials I'm not saying his name that I guess he has a talk show or something. I don't know if it's a podcast, whatever it is. And he wanted his first guest to be Megan. <laughs> he was really like trying to invite her. I was like, uh, yeah, okay, keep waiting, dude. Keep waiting. Never would happen. Daniel, Levin is nonsense. So please do not consider her. Yeah, she is nonsense, but it's one of those. That reference that she used, she should have been removed from Twitter immediately. To replace the A's with the S's, yeah, she should have been she should have been tossed from Twitter permanently. Um, it, it's like it's enough already, just enough already. Or the impossible to the moderators at the therapist psycho. Um, Welcome the trolls. Acknowledge them. Even the dull and ignorant have a story. Rid of them when they're acting as their names beautifully. Oh, yeah. I tell you, I get all lost in the, I get all lost in, you know, comments, which happens. And uh, y'all zap them out. Although I had fun. That's Trollisha. 
Anna, that's what you're saying? That's Trollisha? Yeah. That was a good one. I mean, you know, I mean, the name, I immediately knew by the name. I was like, oh, okay. I'm just going to read the comment because, you know, I just had the time for it. But, yeah. Some of them are slick with it, you know. They'll have just a regular common name and then come in because, you know, it's not really theirs. <laughs> um, Hey, Rhonda. How are you? How far behind? I'm not too far behind. Okay. Um, <laughs> Rosa, you mean the other daughter? Yeah, that's the good way of, of referencing the other daughter. Yes. Now, I will say again, in the um, in the Oprah interview, I don't ever remember her being mentioned. So I'm not even sure why she's all up in arms and wanting to sue. But when you think logically, but the illogic side is that, you know, just looking for attention again, until the paperwork is actually filed. It's just a lot of hearsay, like the father that was going to sue for rights to see the, his grandchildren when you don't have a legal standing because you've never were in their lives. Okay. Moving right along. Mm -hmm. All right, Lydia. Henry VIII did pull the documents. Oh, okay, she did file. It's laughable. But what is she saying? Because I looked. I didn't find them, but that's good. That mm -mm -mm. I want to know who her attorney is. That's, that's who I want to know. Because whoever is that attorney in that law firm need to be avoided at all costs. If you have any semblance of, of common sense. But yeah, it is a, it is laughable. And again, you have to serve a, a lawsuit for it to truly begin the wheels of justice, so to speak. So unless you have her address and all that stuff, and no, not to P.O. Box, you know, unless she has a legal representation, um, representative who I would presume they do at that level that would handle that. So, Hey, Mama Jane, how you doing? I hope you were well. Ah, thanks, Rochelle. I guess I wasn't looking in the real, in the right spot, nor was I really, really that interested in finding them. I'm just being honest because it's just like enough already. She's she's just a cray cray one. Scamantha, she has mental issues. She needs to be locked up. Yeah, she does. Cause she went didn't she go to um Kensington Palace and was trying to give a letter or something? I'm like, uh-huh, sure, sure. Daniel, that's correct. The jealous and failed sister. Mm -hmm. Hello, H Knight, how are you? I'm right in your backyard. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Um, Lydia, somebody is covering scammy costs and back in this. Oh, without without a doubt. But again, does anybody remember her even being mentioned? I mean, I know that she talked about what she lost with her father, but I don't remember there being any in-depth conversation on any of those folks, the older, the older ones that the father spawned. Yeah. Each night she should be because she initiated the suit. <sighs> Who initiated the suit? What are you talking about? I don't understand that, but maybe you're talking to somebody else. Kiki baby, rolling races, and her father, evil Santa, doesn't have a case. If we want to talk about cases, one can be built on her various aliases on social media. Her daughter should sue her for bad parenting. Well, this is the whole thing. She's saying defamation. You have to have some character good upstanding character <laughs> for someone to defame you megan said nothing to said nothing about you that wasn't true um 
you know, oh, you can show there's some text message that you sent in what, 2018 or was it 2017 or was it 2008 or 2002? Like, come on already. Let's be realistic. Um, you were out stomping your feet when they announced that engagement. You really were kicking up the dust. So mm, there's a little bit more showing how you defamed Megan versus the other way around. So, yeah. And um, I thought I had brought it in, but maybe I didn't, where Christopher Boozy tweeted. Oh, I know what I did. I shared it to the channel members. Um, Christopher Boozy tweeted and said that, you know, the older one, this is a preemptive, like a preemptive move on her part. So some stuff is getting ready to come out uh, as a result of the bot sentinel and all that and her ties to these hate accounts. And um, mm -hmm. so I guess she's trying to do this to make herself look like a victim. She's not a victim, not by any means. Um, Bright Eyes, PB and J, who in their right mind sue for 75,000 <laughs> trail of trash? Um, you know, it's true because if you're really looking to make some impact, you would go for a bigger number, but um, what they hope is that there's no response to the suit. Again, it really should be one that is, you show proof that you served it. And there, there's way, you know, there's a legal way that that has to be done. And there is a receipt for it because the person that is doing the um, handing the papers usually wants you to sign off on something. But if you don't, they can just say that, you know, they have record of that you, you know, they serve the papers. But she's hoping that, you know, Megan won't respond at all. And then there'll be a judgment entered, a default judgment. And then she'll just walk, waltz in and get some money. She, th this is not going to end pretty for the slick one. The old one, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna end well for you. Hey, Joseph, how you doing? I'm just letting you know that karma's going to get you. I think you're right after reading the BS in the document. Yeah, Rochelle, um, again, you can file... <laughs> You can even serve people, mind you, if you don't serve them, how would they, you have to give someone time to respond, etc. So you don't, and a court, the judge, has to determine if there's legal standing for it to even proceed. That hasn't even happened yet. So everyone needs to just woosah. Woosa, woosa. We're not even at that stage yet. Because if they're if they determine there's legal standing, then it will move forward from there, and then you know there'll be response, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But if there's no legal standing, it'll be tossed right out. So I I I want to see that. And yeah, I'm just saying. I mean, was there an attorney's office listed on there? Or is she doing it herself? Or, I mean, don't try to, you know, redact all your attorney information. That's all I'm saying. You want to be big and bold, be big and bold all the way around. Hey, Church Nelly. I thought I saw you earlier. Did I not? But hello anyway. Um, let's see. Hugh, Piggy Pier. <laughs> Came over to wind her up. Oh, I guess so. Uh, well, mm, mm. I, I could be bad, but I'm gonna be good. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take that where it could have went. <laughs> Ooh, Mama Jane, please, H Knight, need 
help to join, so let me hear from you. What I miss? I don't know. I must have missed something. Um, let me see. Oh, sorry about that. Dolores, Samantha doesn't have a chance of this case. Yeah. I, I'm just... Crazier things have happened, but I it really would have to be where there's substantial... Like, there has to be some legal standing. She mentioned you, and you think that's defaming you? Spare me, please. Your character, again, there's enough evidence to show her character and how she acted on TV, in the multiple interviews, as well as on social media, and even interacting with the hate accounts that spread nothing but lies. She even helped with that, too, allegedly. Rhonda, when a judge examines the numerous interviews Sammy has done and the def defamatory remarks made about Megan. Yeah, well, that would have to be entered more than likely by, you know, that would be Megan's side if this even proceeds to that level. So, everybody just keep your eye out. If you have the docket number, case number, then you just have to watch and see what's the next steps, you know, what's, what's going to happen next. You know, the dates are important when it comes down to this, but it's not where, oh, they're going to court tomorrow. That's not happening. Okay. Not even no settlement talks. Let's get real. Um, Denise, if she was, if she has an eighth grade education and wrote a book about sister, you trashed on British TV, you told the whole book in interviews. Yeah. Why buy a poor written book? Well, that's one thing. Um, and I guess she thought Troll Nation was bigger and better than what they really turned out to be. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. Uh, Christine Harris should sue um, Scammy Sam. Well, I mean, <laughs> she she's not, she's really not worth their energy. She's really not. Um, and most of that will probably all come out anyway in the wash, so to speak, in other lawsuits he's got going. So, mm -hmm. Defamation. <laughs> That's just laughable to me. Doree, how are you? I hope you're well. No, you're never late. Oh, Kiki, what you said? That's not <laughs> no damn disco music. I can't find... Well... The one that I did find um, is going on and on about MF this. And I know somebody, one of them trolls will be done, um, reported this live. So I don't want that. But, you know, I'll try to find something. I mean, I can put my outro music on, on loop. Y'all will really be going bonkers then. <laughs> oh, let me see. Um, let's see if this doesn't have a whole lot of cussing in it. Okay. This this one, maybe this will make you happy. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all are see, rough. Everybody's rough. This isn't. This is like eighties, nineties disco. I, I put in quotes disco. Okay. I'm Lori. Funny that the one who was saying left and right false info about the Duchess is the one filing a defamation lawsuit. She is a joke. She's making a fool of herself once more. Yeah. She's trying and hoping for um, almost like a, uh, a quick quick cash type of thing. Like she's just going to get some quick cash out of Megan. And it doesn't work that way. It really doesn't work that way. So... I don't wish her luck. Is, you know, that karma's going to come back to her. Anna, Scamantha's book was a flop. Yeah, well, I mean, you know. Flop is, is flop does. Okay. Or the impossible Anna. It's um, unadvisable to lock someone up because of jealousy. Samantha has no mental issues. Her feet, yeah, she's, she's just... 
Someone on Twitter found, when I say squad is no joke for the PI work that we do, <laughs> but it's easy to find too because it's out there on the interwebs, but they found an old clip. I'm guessing Samantha was an actress at some time or other. And yeah, anyway, it was a very short clip, but no, I'm not showing it here. Okay. Um, you leave that. I have two children. They are 11 years apart and both say they are were raised as an only child. I guess they would be, <laughs> there would be a lawsuit from one of them soon. <laughs> You leave it, you got to cut it out. Mm -mm. I mean, there's more than even 11 years between um, the older and Megan. Like, they were out of the house with their own kids, I believe, right? Or close enough to it. Anyway, don't matter. She wants, she wants the attention. We had all been holding our breath in a sense, knowing she was out there somewhere, up to no good. And here she comes, dropping dropping out of the sky. That's all I'm going to say. Cecilia, is there any legal action Megan can take against her sister to stop talking about her? Without some type of gag order that would come out of a lawsuit? No. And I'll just say this. You, on From Megan's standpoint, this is my opinion. I wouldn't want to initiate anything to try to gag order someone. Um, usually the non-disclosure part of any type of suit would suffice. But to say to not speak about her again, that just wouldn't happen. You know, First Amendment and um, although maybe there should be some fine tied to Every time my name rolls out of your mouth, that's a thousand dollars, and then it goes to a it goes to a charity. I don't know. I'm just saying that could be an idea. Hmm. Bet she would stop real quick. <laughs> Seventy five thousand makes it a federal lawsuit, but federal judges don't play BS nonsense. No, they don't. That the documentation has to be filed correctly. Um. And again, if there, if a judge determines that it has legal standing, it will proceed. But it proceeds through a process. It's not an overnight thing. They may say, yeah, it has standing and it goes to the next phase. And then that it's, you know, they may ask for revisions to what was submitted because they may say this is not good enough. You need to provide more information. It, it, it's she's opened a can of worms on for on her own as okay and since she did she's gonna have to she's gonna have to work for that okay um yeah <laughs> Rhonda Sam will be paying up I sneeze while I type yeah there you go yep she will be tear I think Samantha is paid to file this lawsuit, but Megan's attorney said, don't give it any attention and we shouldn't. Yeah. I mean, again, filing, having it say that it is in standing and that they're going to proceed are two different things. People file every single day. That doesn't mean it ever reaches the point of you know, oh, I'm going to get a default judgment and now I'll get this money from this person. But if that's what makes you happy, be my guest. Of course, don't come back again. Okay, there you go. I mean, you know, that's all I can say. Dolores, if the snake Grant Markle is looking um, for info on Megan's address, it will be to give the info to Merg Meg, her friend. Exactly. To the tabloids, to everybody over there, the space and all them crazy asses over there. Yes, I said it. Hot dang it. There you go. Mama Jane, each night to be a patron. I'm 67. Now I can pay something to help, but not good in the paying. <laughs> I'm lost. Okay. I must be missing something. Mama Jane... You got some questions? Can I help you? Oh, to be a member? You want to click the join? It, 
If you're in the chat, it should be a join. I don't know. If you're on cell, I think it's there. Um, if you close out of chat, if you're on the cell, you should see it on the main screen for the channel. Or for the, the live stream, you should see it right there. But it's hard for me to visualize it. Um, um, Kawhi push, push and Love. Hello there. How are you? Uh oh, let me turn that down a little bit. Um, listen, Megan's lawyers are not taking the lawsuit serious once they intend to give it minimum attention. Yeah, I mean, it. I'm mentioning it because it's just it's funny to me. And did she really think she was doing something? I mean, it probably gives her better quote standing with the troll nation. You know, they 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 worshipped the ground she walked on. And I'll just leave that at that. Okay. Oh, yes. And um, although Mama Jane has mentioned it, if you haven't seen the community tab, I added a new tier in the membership. So just click the join button to get information. It'll show you all that fun stuff. So, um, hey, Rachel, how you doing? Hey, Faye, how you doing? I hope you were doing well. Good to see you. Let me see. Yeah, I'm, I'm just a little bit behind. Just a little bit. Oh, and let me just say this. <laughs> I believe this was Joyce that was in a live. <laughs> and basically shut the live down. I believe it was Joyce. I might be mistaken. But the reference that heifer... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Baron's reaction I died I just died Anna Rhonda she will not win the heifer will pay court costs and attorney costs exactly she's gonna ooh. she needs to stop listening to those who truly have not led her to the pot of gold that she keeps looking for I'm just saying, because <laughs> they truly have not given her good advice at all. If she had kept her mouth shut, she would have been so involved in in many things that would have turned out good for her. But the energy energy that she tied herself to and is putting forth is what she's going to get back times a thousand. Mm. Okay. Avery, they really wanted to create a hate figure out of Megan so they could blame her for everything going wrong in the UK, but it did not work. Um, especially given that, unlike other females that married into that family, Megan had a long work history. And you'll have the one offs that will be like, oh, she she was she was hard or whatever. Very rare. Because everyone else especially the co-workers that she worked with on Suits, even from the the um, show when she was on, um, what was that, um, Deal or No Deal? They, the, No one could really say that she was bad or a mean person. They all said she was sweet. She kept to herself. Fits her personality. Okay. I'm just saying. Uh, Lydia... If World Traveler is in the chat, we did get the issue resolved for you chatting in Royal Sussex chat. Oh, see, there you go. There's ways around some of the YouTube hiccups that occur. So um, don't get all worked up and upset and all that stuff. But that's good to know that you uh, you worked it out. Dari, uh, saying hello to everybody. <laughs> Anna, that's robot music. Listen, listen. This was at 1134. Mm. I don't know. I can't please you. I'm sorry. I could go into the music, but I would just keep looping my um, outro. And of course, y'all hear that music and y'all be like, oh no, she's ending it. So, Annie, a person with MS with so much hate for her half sister because Megan was more successful than she was. Yeah. Megan didn't take anything away from her. Nothing. Because it wasn't that they grew up 
truly under the same roof. So I'm just kind of lost on the, the hate, but it is what it is, you know. Um, I do believe those older ones have a race issue, and I'll just leave it at that. <clears throat> Catalina, how are you? Good to see you. Hey, Gloria, how you doing? I hope you are well. Ah, Ghana. All right, Mama Jane, how you doing? Uh-oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Hey, Church Nelly. Um, let's see. Oh, y'all have a little side conversation. Let me see the Royals. Um, the Royals got more than they bargained for when they collaborated with the Markles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but shouldn't white trash know white trash in a sense? One just has more money. Doesn't mean that they're not trash. Oh, okay. Just saying. Asking the question for a friend. I'm just just asking. Just asking. Um, Rosa, don't the other daughter have paid taxes on all the money she took from all the interviews um, with the IRS? Want to know about that? Well, um, I'm guessing if she's she got any type of documentation, they would want to know. You know how things are usually not traceable. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure they would want to know. I could care less. I mean, that's her. That's that's one of the alphabets you, nobody really wants to mess with. Although some people found out with the PPP and they doing things they shouldn't have done and shouldn't even have received it. And so some are really finding out that the I, the R, and the S don't, are not the ones to mess with. So let her figure that out. Megan is a real princess. She has a hateful stepsister. Yolita, you said it all. There you go. That's so true. That's so true. Oh, Mama Jane, well, I hope you are better. Get better. I really do. Each and I, people don't realize it takes a lot of energy to hate, so I don't engage with haters. Yeah, it does take a lot of energy to hate. I, you know, I didn't have any siblings, so for me, I don't understand when I see some siblings really go after each other, whether it's the age difference, whether they were raised in the same home, whether, you know, I mean, there are some that were adults and here comes a sibling, you know, and it is, they are living completely different lives, but to go after each other? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Church Nelly, why do I feel the need to push Scammy in her wheelchair off? <laughs> church Nelly, let's be church and not not do that, not even think of that. She she's like that. Um, you know, you get that pimple and you just want to pop it. And the stuff that comes out, that's her. Okay. Moving along. Hopefully none of you were eating. Hello, Irene. How are you? I hope I haven't missed anybody, but if I did, I apologize. I am kind of skipping through. Ooh, Mama Jane, let me um let me do not, do not, do not. Let me see. I can't delete it over here, but you need to delete. Take your number out. And I know that was a while ago, but hopefully you removed. I'll have to come on this side to do it. Um Mama Jean, please be careful, or anybody else, do not put your information in the chat. Please don't do it. Okay. Um, if I can even find it, so. <sighs> Lord. I had to jump into YouTube. Now I have to wait for the chat to catch. And I don't know who this was, but okay. It looks like somebody was going to join, but then they changed their mind, which is fine. Ooh, and my computer's going to die, so I need to plug it up. Plugged in. There we go. All right. Can't find it. 
I don't know if it's not caught up, but anyway, I'll try to. Yeah, please don't put your personal information. Anybody? Hey, Rock Chick Beauty, how are you doing? Um. Oh, hey there, love to wave. How are you? Or love to travel with wave? Excuse me. Uh Mama Jane, love to travel. Lived in Ghana too, I believe. So that might be somebody else that you can kind of connect with and chat it up with. Just be mindful of not putting your personal information in the chat. Okay. Hi there, Angie. How are you? Um, let me see. Cookies and cream. Scammy isn't the long ranger in this asinine lawsuit. The unrolls and the racist goons are behind this. The timing of the lawsuit is very suspicious. Very, very suspicious. Right after Harry sues, here comes her out of the blue. Yeah, whatever. And like, um... I don't think the statute of limitations was a year, although everybody's kind of making a mark on that. But it was just about a year to the time from when the interview was aired. But you would have had better standing in a sense if you had a came out then. Where were you under a rock somewhere and just realized and sat and listened to the interview again? <laughs> yeah, whatever. That interview really has torn them up. And everything out there that was said has proven to be true. So why, again, are they doing that? <sighs> oh, that's so sweet of you. Oh, y'all, this is so lovely. Rachel, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, I appreciate it. <clears throat> Excuse me. See, you keep talking about them that crazy one, and then my throat wants to start acting crazy. And that evil, yeah, just need money from Megan, but it will never happen. That's true. It won't happen. Hey, Fancy Fancy, how you doing? Hey, Miss Viv, how you doing? Um, Let me come down... Hey, Spottom, how you doing? <laughs> I love your greetings. <laughs> oh, Anna, the attorneys are Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> Whew, I needed that one. Thank you. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. I'm going to start jumping because I'm like almost a half hour behind y'all in these comments. And hi, everybody that's in the chat. Hi, hi, hi. I really hope I haven't missed anybody. Um subscribe okay 90027 uh-huh i don't know zip code i'm guessing lord don't these trolls have better things to do no they don't and this this screen name is okay so don't don't go blocking that's that's somebody i know it's good peeps um Oh, you're enjoying the uh, North Carolina weather? Yes, the sun, hopefully, depending on where you're at. But yeah. PBJ, Macon's lawyers said they give it minimal attention it deserves. That's true. That's, I mean, you know how squad is. We're very passionate. We've, we support hardcore um, them to the fullest. So, of course, you see something like that and everybody's like, ah! what's going on and i bust out laughing i was like are you serious is this real <laughs> that's why i was really like look for paperwork but again even though you find something in the court system doesn't mean that it has legal standing to proceed so moving right along mm -hmm. irene she's not going to sue it's a pr stunt it serves two purposes generate income for her with the obvious suspects inviting her for interviews and bad PR for our Duchess. But it's not really bad PR. And the one thing is, it would be lovely if the Oprah show, because, hmm, you're only suing Megan, but there were two, there was Oprah, there's her production company, all that, and you didn't go after them? 
think about that, everybody. Think about that. Yeah. Okay. Um, Denise seems that's a man must have used the law <laughs> school student to do the lawsuit. From what said, she's mad. Megan said they haven't they haven't seen her in nineteen years instead of thirteen. Um. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> She might be laughed right out the. Oh, 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 oh. What's the difference? Six years? Ooh, oh my, stop the presses. Oh my, the world is coming to an end. Whatever. That is such a waste of time and such BS. <sighs> she is a desperate little minion. She truly is. A desperate little minion. Um, let's see. If I can get past this cussing, let me see. Uh, that's a little bit on the... Mm -mm 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 -mm. See, I could play some good... good. I, I would play house music if I could, but I can't because then there'll be claims and strikes and everything against me so um rochelle yes megan said she don't like talking about people she don't know but she didn't say her name <laughs> i'm just saying like did she that's why i was like did she even mention her no who was the one that mentioned her name but yet she's not named in the lawsuit i'm just saying she was answering a question okay Mm -hmm. Think about that one, too. Um, Catherine Crazy Cray will be paying Madam Duchess legal fees with that SSI check. Mm -hmm. Yes, she will. Thank you, Mama Jane. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I really do. I appreciate that. Alina, Oprah mentioned her, but I don't believe Megan's saying her name. Exactly. Uh, Megan is smart. No, let's not. You know, she knew better than that. Mm-hmm. So, again, the one that mentioned the name, and although, you know, 19 years, 13 years, it's more than a decade that I've seen you. Would you have preferred her to say that? Okay, whatever. I mean, let's not nitpick. Let's not nitpick. And 13 years is a very long time. Okay? Just saying, to not see somebody, talk to somebody or whatever. Because mm. that doesn't say you have a good relationship. <laughs> there you go. Frida, how you doing? The other daughter has issue with Megan saying she was raised as an only child in the interview. Um, but she was. I'm just, but she was. Yeah, maybe her, maybe her children need to come after her for, you know. Now that would be hilarious. Daniel, Samantha, <laughs> the sink, is responsible to involve um, Thomas against, yeah, Megan. Mm -hmm. She is responsible to some degree, allegedly. It just seems to be her footprint or handprint or will print <laughs> all over it. Mary, she was mentioned the next day in the extra clips, but in, in Sister's book mentioned some of the things she is suing for. Did not read the, I listened to a lawyer that has read it. <clears throat> so her book was the outline for her lawsuit. But didn't her book come out before the interview? I'm kind of confused. I don't keep up with that crazy, crazy one, so... Maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. The only uh, H night, the only thing she said regarding scammy was she didn't see how she could write a tell-all book about someone she doesn't know that has um, that had not seen scammy in 18 years. Oh, okay. See how much I even retained that little bit that was said. I know about the father. It was much has been lost, but other than that, I really wasn't. We were still reeling over all the other stuff that was said. Forget about, you know, that. My gosh. 
Scam and Ginny Thomas are the epitome of entitlement. Ginny called Anita and wanted Anita to apologize to Clarence. Anita contacted the FBI. Lord, I'm not even going to say any more about that second name that you mentioned. Yeah, she's a cray cray times a thousand. That's about all I'll say. Allegedly, yes. My opinion. Um, Sash, how you doing? H&M haters are irrational people. Um, Harry and Meghan have been out of the sunken place for over two years now. Why are they still chasing after them, being angry and speaking lies? Because they have nothing else to do in life. If they were truly, especially that family, were really working, first of all, your attention would be on the one that the elder, the monarch that is sick. Now, whether she's been seen, I don't know. Don't really care. But again, you would think that you're keeping your eye on that situation, let alone the one that is her heir. You would keep an eye on that situation. But y'all are scuffing up all this stuff. I mean, mind you, nobody's talking about Randy Andy. Ain't that shocking? No, not really. What were Megan's words on, you know, they'll 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 come out and correct the lie for them, but won't for her, basically to protect her. Ooh. Catherine, Megan said she didn't know her. That woman was much older. I mean, knowing someone as a kid and knowing someone when you're an adult, two different, different things. Um, we all have relatives, I'm sure, that know us, but they don't really know us. They know our name. They know when they see us. We know them when we see them. But do they really know us? Hmm. And the hell, we ain't no, all of us ain't running to court to sue. Okay, I'm just saying. <sighs> Yolita, you also have to show the court profits and loss to prove how it affects you. <laughs> I guess she'll say she was, wasn't was given jobs or something, but in Hollywood you have to audition and it's really up to the director. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Each night, Scammy will show up in court in her wheelchair trying to gain sympathy, of course. But that's if it even gets to that point. We don't know if it will ever, ever, ever get to that point. A judge still has to make a determination on everything that's been submitted. Um, they may call for more information, briefs, documentation. And you better hope that they don't want a court reporter um, or stenographer, and you have depositions. Who do you really want that, Sammy? I'm just saying. Or Troll Nation. Do you really want that? I don't know about that. Because going under oath ain't no joke, even when it's a deposition. Okay. Ooh, anything you say will and can be used against you. Ooh. -hoo. Dolores, she won't cover everything Megan mentioned in the interview with Oprah to call Megan a liar. Um, yeah. <laughs> so she's just the 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 royal media um hench person on wheels. Is that what she is? I'm just saying. Like, what? Ah, Let me tell you, who needs enemies? When you got family like that, good God from Zion. I'm just saying. Now, we're all holding our breath. Because <sighs> you know that older brother is somewhere lurking, I'm sure, salivating, just seeing what, you know, his sister gets, if anything. But I'm just saying. Sash, 75 is the amount required to get your case in federal court. Once in, if you win, you can get more money. If there's a legal standing, if the court finds there's a legal standing, you can ask for whatever you want to ask for. But if there's no legal standing, nothing proceeds. That's what I want everyone to remember. No need to get all in a tizzy, even if there is legal standing. That's when um, Megan's defense team comes into play. And believe you me, yeah, it, it, it will be over before it's over. Yeah. Hmm. Did Scammy fall and bump her head or something? I don't know. Somebody 
truly um, pumping her up. Money, you know, yeah, you can do it. You're the best one to do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I don't know if it's Troll Nation and the Royal Troll Nation. I don't know. Yeah, I just wonder. So um, let me see. Kiki, this always happens to famous people. Trash family come out of the hole to sue. Yeah, that's true. They sue for different things. And um, a lot of times those suits <laughs> are tossed out like nothing happens with them. Again, every all of us can file paperwork. It doesn't mean that you're going to have a legal standing for it to proceed. I'm just saying. Hey, Gwendolyn, how you doing? Um... The amount determines which court hears the case. This is a ploy to try to get Megan into a courtroom. Not going to happen. Exactly. It's not going to happen. Joyce, the suit will never make it to court. It reads like something a real attorney would never write. Yeah, that's why I've been asking who were her. Who's the attorney? The law, the law firm behind this. Because you really are putting your um, firm and name and reputation on the line. Hey, Beverly, how you doing? Um, or the impossible. Samantha, have no mental issues. She wants a, a jury court by a therapist self. And she wants to see Megan in person. She wants to hug or, or abuse Megan in court. It's the latter. Just to be able to have Megan come into court. Because, you know, I guess the UKers that were behind that crap with the Daily Fail had just those that media thought for sure she was going to be coming into court every day and of course got the summary judgment excuse me and that didn't happen and yeah thankfully covid shut a lot of that crap down so yeah a leader she doesn't realize she's being used a deal of fail is behind this yeah i mean it's the timing <laughs> it's just the timing of it all and um They'll be victorious. Megan's fine. I always see, you know, the comments, oh, they're ruining her reputation. They're not ruining her reputation. Megan is busy. She's working, you know, busy mom, you know, raising the babies. And um, she's not, she's not, I doubt she's losing sleep over this stuff. I know probably any organization that does work with them, <laughs> has to be told this is what is going to happen. You know, you're going to have all of this crap coming out of the woodwork and people in your um, comment section and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I know that some of the organizations, you know, well, what is the name of the company that you're with or whatever, and trying to get as much information. And I like that they make certain fields um, required because if you're really gonna try to get up into this, yeah, let. I mean, you can put James Smith and and call it a day, but your IP, I guarantee, is probably being tracked, even with a VPN. They're gonna get you. Um, yes, is a list her attorney firm on the documents. Ah, God bless them. God bless them. Doree, you're right. They're setting her up, but she's already what you said they're setting her up for, in my opinion. Love to travel. You take care. You have a wonderful weekend. I hope to be able to catch. Hopefully, you'll go live again somewhere by the beach. Make me jealous like you have been. Um, Lori, uh, Church and LA, I hear you and trust we will all would not mind helping. Yeah. Okay. Denise, bring it on the lawsuit. SSI wants to know. Tosh can't. <laughs> Tosh K scammy. Yeah. I mean, you got to be mindful. Hey, Kevin, how you doing? Good to see you. I'm like way behind. Um, If Sam's in the chat. Hi, Sam. <laughs> if you've come and gone, I'm sorry. I missed you. What is this, Felicia? Scammy. Scammy, scammy, money grabbers is is back looking for 75. Scamantha is the devil and the devil is a liar. Yeah, she's, she want to, 
she's looking for and she's not going to get and it is what it is emma i no longer pay the part of megan's family any attention ciao well you know since she wanted to be in the news we're going to give her at least that little bit but i'm even over her at this point um brenda thank you very much for the super sticker i appreciate that i hope i haven't missed any others um but thank you thank you thank you I think I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting over talking about her now. Whew, she's enough to make it. Bleh. Okay. Um, let me see, Sylvia. I agree. The lawsuit sound like a crazed creature, angry, hateful, delusional, out of control, and that's just how a judge will read it. Again, do you have legal standing? And and like many have said, and how were you defamed? Like, were you harmed? And in harm, you lost jobs. Um, did the phone stop ringing for interviews from tabloids? I mean, what? Doesn't seem that way because you. I'm sure you're all over the TV. Anybody who calls for you. Uh, Laura, seriously though, when is her father going to act like a father and say to that girl with the? Uh, the defamation law sh uh, lawsuit to STF. <laughs> He's not. He's not. You know, he'll want his part. <laughs> She'd probably have to pay up to him, but she's never going to get anything, so we don't even need to worry about it. Um, how about sister? Are you doing it for themselves? Yeah. That's for sure. Mrs. S? <gasps> Mrs. S, did I miss you? Ah, there she is. I had to scroll up. Mrs. S, channel member. Hi. Good to see you in here. Ah, almost missed that. Um, hey, Callie King, how you doing? If I've missed someone, please, please don't get upset. I'm I'm skipping through some of the comments because I'm way behind and I do want to kind of catch up to the chat and not be like a half hour behind in comments when y'all have already moved on <laughs> and I'm just getting there. You know, the train has left the station, but sometimes it gets stuck with me. Hello there. How are you? I'm not even going to try. I'm going to say maiden. I'm just going to call you T maiden. Okay. Just renamed you. Sorry, but that's how it is. I have a 20-year gap between my older children and my youngest. She's being raised as an only child. The difference is her sibs love her. There you go. Boom, boom. It's only obvious that if people are out on their own, having their own families, yeah, you're not in the house being raised by your parents anymore. So why would you say you're being raised with your sibling? It just doesn't make sense. Um, Gwendolyn, they're showing the interview of Scammy's mom and daughter. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> she gonna go after them too. That I would love to see. Yeah, you know that. I would love to see that. Not happening. But anyway, um, Joseph, the sisters are demonstrating that true charity is not cutting ribbons, opening curtains, or regifting taxpayer funds. They donate in ways that are truly transformational and not just photo ops. Very true. Very true. There were some outspoken haters regarding the NAACP Image Awards, you know, just saying, oh, I guess it was just for image. You know, I had some crazy trolls coming on my, um, that left a comment under my live stream last week, which they've since been blocked. But um, just saying how, you know, I think one said was that they paid for it and that it was like coming back to them. It's like, you know, it was two different awards. The Image Awards goes out to other people, but they got the President's Award, which is completely different from the Image Awards. But anyway, yeah, whatever. Um, Mary, they do not call Sam daughter. Again, she is. <laughs> she said her is a lunar. Is that what you're saying? Or a liar? Maybe that's what it is. She's um, She's a horrible person. After she leaves, the mm -hmm, will come out. 
after him, Junior. They always relay. Yeah, that's true. It is like a relay race. The relay race of crazy. That's all I can say. Um, Denise, when you go to school with your nephew or niece, you are an only child. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Or if you're playing alongside in the sandbox with your niece and nephew, because that does happen too. Yes, you're not. Your your older siblings are not in the same household as you, usually. Hmm. And even still, they're kind of doing their own thing, obviously. Otherwise, you wouldn't have nieces or nephews your same age. Mm-hmm. Um, Emil, is that how we say that? There was some extra footage of that interview in which Todd was mentioned briefly. What interview? Which interview are you talking about? Because I didn't see any other footage. Um, Kenneth? Hasn't Scammy heard that Megan kicked Daily Failures? No. Maybe she thinks she's bigger and better. I just think she's being um, pumped up and, yeah, someone's filling her tire with air, literally. Um, But it's the wrong kind of air, in my opinion. So I'm just going to leave it at that. And traditionally, I saw so many Karens in my lifetime, your typical looking ones. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Irene, it's a publicity stunt. There's nothing, absolutely no grounds for her suit. Plus, her antics over the years has given Madam Duchess more vi- um, verifiable evidence to lodge a suit against. Exactly, against the snake. That's what I said. But, you know, let her do whatever. Um, and she probably shouldn't get any more attention than what she's getting. So, cookies and cream, I hope. Megan counter suits. Hold her accountable for her actions. True. But I don't know if that will, mind you, if it gets to the point where there is some, the court says, oh, yeah, you have standing and we're going to move forward. Yeah, then that'll probably happen. And then she'll be all 100% a victim dumb, you know. Oh, my gosh, how could she do this? Why would she do this? Uh, 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 uh. You know, the typical stuff. The typical stuff. Mrs. S, um, where is the twisted... <laughs> Where is the twist of face hag getting the money for the lawsuit against Megan? Inquiring minds want to know. That's what I asked. But I think we all are under the same consensus that, you know, that certain palace that they sell all the calls <laughs> are coming from within? Yeah. Mm-hmm. My, my, my opinion. Mm-hmm. That's, that's all I say. My opinion. Don't know, but yeah, you know could be let me see um sylvia mrs says my mom had six children and the oldest were 18 when i was born i was raised like an an only child my brother passed three years ago and there were many people that say they thought i was an only child we know this we're logical again if you're not if you're irrational and illogical you don't you aren't thinking logically right so that's where that comes down. Oh, Mama Jean, thank you. Welcome. Uh, when I get off of here, I will welcome you. How I welcome new channel members. But thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Joyce, if anyone should file defamation, Megan sh- should have filed years ago. Exactly years ago. But. It, she knows she wants that attention. I mean, she will go in full 100% victim. Oh, I'm the victim. She's coming after me. I don't understand why she's coming out. Well, I mean, you initiated it. So you're just getting the kickbuck back. You know what I mean? So. And as many of us know, <laughs> Megan's uh, legal team, whether in the U.S. or in the UK, does not play around. If you want to come on and be big and bad and come, you know, uh, do something crazy, they're going to come at you, as they should, to protect their client. There you go. Just saying. Alita, well, child, they want to distract us. Oh, child. They can try, but it doesn't usually work that way. Um, uh, Mrs. S. Tier. 
I'm doing okay under the circumstances. Thanks for asking. Yes, but please rest. Um, I'm honored that you're listening in. I am watching the clock because I know Baron is coming up in about 20 minutes. So I will have you off in the next 10. So I'm going to be missing a lot of comments, um, but I hope you all understand. I want to give everybody a chance to, um, you know, have those moments before, you know, get your snacks, drinks, um, you know, hit the bathroom before Baron's live. And um, because I'm not going to be one to be like, well, you just can't go over there (laughs) as if y'all would listen. (laughs) Yeah, it was. Okay, thank you. I thought it was Joyce. I was in tears laughing. I laughed so hard. (laughs) I'm glad that I was on mute because, you know, I have work calls going at the same time. And I, I don't have the my personal computer on the headset. I have the headset on for my work calls. And I laughed so loud. I got scared that, and I looked at the phone and I was like, I looked at the computer. I'm like, whew, I'm on mute. Thank God, thank God. Because, yeah, I lost it. The way he hollered, I was laughing. Um, We can expect to see on the British morning shows. Yeah. Mm aren't y'all the lucky ones? (laughs) Aren't y'all the lucky ones? Oh, yeah. Um, What is this from this Joyce? Megan has resume before and now after Harry. When you have that kind of documentation, you can't make up stuff that is believable to the nonsensical. They tried. They really did try. And... I believe they're shocked that their tactics did not work to turn the entire globe against Megan for having the audacity to fall in love with Harry and to marry him and Lord knows to then produce two beautiful children who are in the line of succession. And that really just takes them out. But, you know, hey, it is what it is, right? That's really where they have the audacity. How dare that woman come, you know, into places that she knows she shouldn't be. Or, you know, at least in their mind, that's how they probably think. Um, Black Queen Samantha have zero legs to stand on, literally, with the scheming lawsuit. That girl is trash. She is. She really is. I'm going to try not to miss too many. Of course, for channel members, I will highlight... Um, oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Rachel. Happy birthday, Rachel. Happy birthday, Rachel. Happy birthday, Rachel. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. Okay. (sighs) Too bad you all didn't have a mic and then you could have all sang together, right? Daniel, you take care. Um, I'll probably be gone. You're probably already gone. Life goes on, right? Um, technically, Megan is an only child between Thomas the Tank and Doria. Well, that is the truth. She is. And that's who, you know, I mean, even if the older ones were in the home, they weren't raised by Doria. And I thought they were with their mom, but, you know, I could be wrong. To the corner, Anna, you are on fire today. <laughs> I saw what she said. I'm just gonna keep on rolling. Keep on rolling. Um let's see. Yeah. So Anna, your full name, email, phone number, that type of info. Oh yeah. Hi Angela, how are you? Hmm. How are you? All right, let me see. Black Queen, I'm okay. Just a long road ahead. Yes, and we'll be praying for that. I know, you know, like I said earlier, before you joined Mrs. S, there's several that are in the fam that um, have some challenges, but, you know, those that um, have their different belief systems, just pray. Put out that healing energy, no matter what. Just put out healing energy to all those that need it. So. Mama Jam, looking forward to help for help to join 
just got my grandson, so I've joined it. Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you. I appreciate it. I really, really do. Um, hey there, Angie Poo. How are you? How are you feeling? I hope you're feeling well. And greetings to you. Thank you for popping in and the love and all that. Um, oh, I see y'all are really getting riled up. Okay, listen, we have 15 minutes, um, really five, because I need to give you a little window between mine and when Baron starts. Um, as you can hear, Penelope's crying in the background because she wants to go to the mailbox. You know, I wish she would pay some bills <laughs> for that all that crying and wanting to walk up to the mailbox. My gosh. Um, Gwendolyn, Annie, I had an aunt who was one year older, so she was more like a sister. Yeah. I think I am. Let me see. Shammy is a distraction for PC, profit, for honors. Oh, yeah. Prince Charles, profit, for honors, and Camilla's nephew, access to the Russian oligarch. She's asking for 75, but they'll probably pay her more for her, um, for the distraction. Yeah. She's getting it from somewhere. It's just when you usually do t this type of lawsuit, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's such thing as a retainer that has to be paid generally. Just saying. Unless they're like, oh, don't worry. Well, you know, our hours, the paralegal hours, you know, all the mailings that we have to do, we'll just chalk it up. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't know too many law firms that operate that way. Sylvia, Mrs. S, um, or Mrs. V, S, you are right. Oprah asked a question about scummy. Megan Duchess did not want to talk about that creature. <sighs> Hence why, I, uh, again, why I didn't even recognize, realize that it had even, I was like, did she mention her? No, she didn't. Okay. Denise Marks is a twist of face hag. Don't consider Megan her family. Yeah, she doesn't. She's, um, they see those older ones and the, and the father see Megan as a cash register. They've commodi they commoditized her more than someone in the royal family and the British media. And it's disgusting. Elect lady, that's what made her mad when Megan said she did not like to say things about people she doesn't know. <laughs> Which is the most polite thing. That's how people that are raised to be polite, that's what we're told. You know, if you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all, right? Okay. And if you, she doesn't know you, she doesn't know you. Mm -mm -mm. Brenda, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, after five years, I stopped counting. If you not, if I haven't talked to you, these people. I've been in North Carolina seventeen years. Um, you know, family and friends that when I lived in Jersey that don't have my number because they weren't calling me before. Because I did change out my number once I had been down here several years. But, I mean, it's the same thing. Do you really know me? <laughs> okay, I'm just, just saying. Hey, Mike, how are you? Now I know I'm waiting. Woo, time is clicking. Time is clicking. Let me see. Um, Listen, okay, let me find it. You all know what's about to happen when you hear this. <laughs> when you hear this, you already know. That the stage is set. Of course, if I can find it myself, which is just the craziest thing right now. Oh, there we go. All right. We all know what's about to happen because I keep saying that I have to let y'all go, and I do. Um, I'm just going to read a few more. A lot of G. Don't get it twisted. Megan's lawyers will bring it just as Oprah's lawyers would. Yeah, but why wouldn't you sue the one who? had the interview versus the one that was answering a question. She answered the question that was posed to her, per her reality. Hey, Vinny, how you doing? Scammy wrote a book defaming Megan, and then she sues Megan for defaming her and causing her nasty little troll book to do badly. This judge would have to be blind not to see through this. Uh, I hope, we can only hope, we can only hope that the judge does not see. Hey there, Nicole. Hi, Gary, if you're if you're also listening in, <laughs> um, 
Hey, Sarah, channel member! Because I don't remember seeing you earlier. There isn't a judge or lawyer out there except ambulance chasers who will take this seriously. Mm. Well, somebody obviously thinks so. Um, yes, Megan always has her seat. Wow. You would think that a sister would know that, huh? <laughs> Someone raised with her and hasn't spoken to her, okay, in 13 years. Still seems like that person would know that she has receipts. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm just saying. Um, all right, let me get in that grad hit scammy. Looked like she couldn't get further away from Megan as she could. Body language, people. There you go. I remember that picture. Yep. Lord Nappy Head <laughs> is definitely from our tribe. He can lie and try to pass his, whoop, as a white male all he want. No pure white male would have curls like that. You know, I saw the picture and I was like, oh, okay, Lord. <laughs> who mama step out? Lord, who mama step out with? Mm -hmm. Hey there, how are you? Let's talk about it with Anita. How you doing? Welcome. All right, I'm going to start shutting it down. Let me, let me, oh, thank you. Welcome, H. Knight. Thank you. I'll, I will greet you and Mama after this, okay? Um, how I greet all new channel members. Uh, let's see. My mind goes to scan. Yeah, when she called her to help, yeah. I, I can't even really read about that because it pisses me off. And if that's true, Lord, have mercy on her. Um, oh, see, and the song is getting ready to stop, and I'm still talking. Um, in my family, there's no such thing as step paths. Even those relationships, divorce, were so close, even with exes, yeah. But it can happen, and, you know. All right. I'm going to, I'm trying to scroll quickly through. Ooh. And um, I'm down at the bottom. Um, Thank you for listening and participating. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all that you have done. Um, thank you to the new channel members. Thank you for those that have come in and supported the live. I appreciate it. You know, I love y'all, the support that you give, the comments. You know how I like to respond back to comments. So um, have a wonderful day. Wonderful rest of the weekend. Please be safe. And you know I always say, wear your mask. Be well, everybody. Bye. Bye.